a Mohawk memoir from the War of 1812, John Norton. And I am just going to purchase. <laughs> I'm going to try his native birth name. Um, Tion in Ho uh, Juan. I am sorry. I'm sorry, hopefully somebody can, like, tell me, like, the spelling kind of pronunciation. Pro how to t say it word-wise in the comments. So, because I, I don't want to mess it up anymore. So, you get, um, abbreviations. Um, you get two maps. So the Iroquois Lower Great Lakes, 1812 to 15, Six Nation Iroquois, 1812 to 15. You get an introduction to like the memoir, term terminology, numbers. Um, so a little bit of his early life and transformation into Mohawk leader. So that's likely his leader name. Either way. Even after a little while of reading, um, I still forget. But, and then you get into the memoir and an epilogue. So, you get John Newart in Upper Canada and Great Britain and then his final years. So, in this you get pretty much what... John Norton has written with um, yeah, introduced and annotated and edited introduced annotated and edited by Carl Ben. So you get the annotations um, by Carl. So <laughs> sometimes like right here up to where my finger is is john norton's writing and then here is just like information and other things um that carl ben has put in um extra information about that day that john wouldn't have known at the time and so You get like further reading type of um, information. So you get kind of like almost secondary and secondary information to the primary information that is John Norton's memoir. So you do get what he has written along with the annotations of Carl um, explaining more of a certain event or person or whatever. So you get some history and background of what was going on um, before and the landscape of the land. So in the epilogue you get info of what happened after Norton stopped writing and the history as well. So you got a good few pages of bibliography. So for something like this with annotations I would expect with the amount of annotations that Carl put in I would expect that you would be having a good um, amount of reference which there are so if wanting a first if wanting to read a biography memoir of what happened in 1812 native um, aboriginal kind of history or in like their involvement in the situation and everything um this can be a really nice like if you really are into that history um this can be a very nice introduction or addition to whatever other resources that you have my camera does not want to agree with me today <laughs> but yeah um very very nicely done so yeah um mohawk memoir from the war of 1812 
Happy readings.